Okay. I have set up my ghetto filming stuff. My tripod is stuffed into a drawer that's hanging out and being duct taped. The phone's been duct taped to the tripod. Just so that I can do this. Right. A couple of people have been asking for a video where I talk to you guys instead of doing the sped up videos. So I'm going to do um, a few videos. I'm going to film a few back to back. I'm in my pajamas. My kids are at school. So I'm going to walk you through my Midori and I'm also going to show you all the random sorts of things that I use in my Midori. My desk is covered in, well, it's not a desk. My coffee table is covered in things. So I suppose I better get started so I don't make this too long because if I make it too long it takes a million years to upload and edit. So that's why I've been doing the sped up videos because they are easier and faster to upload. Otherwise it takes me nine hours for some reason. Apple and YouTube are not besties and they make my life a living hell. So this is my Midori. It's quite chunky. I normally have a pen in here but I've taken the pen out just for now. So as you can see, I have the zipper pocket at the front and this carries like bits and pieces that I collect, some stickers, some tabs, a um, couple of photos that I haven't gotten around to using in there yet, um, pictures of my, my mum and my biological father, but mainly to keep them in there for my mum because uh, that's just what I do. Some post-it notes that I got given in a birthday rack. So this is volume two, as you guys have seen. This is volume one. I've contacted it because I've had, um, I took it to a meetup and I knew it was going to get passed around a bit. So I contacted it and I think I'll be contacting all the finished ones so they hold up a little bit better. And some of the dodgy washi tape that you get that doesn't like to stick to this craft stuff starts peeling off. So the, the, um... I think that's a good way to keep it a little bit pristine. There's my tattoo and my thing. So, so that's volume one and this is volume two. So, so far I've got only got a few, see this, even the stickers don't like sticking. I've only got a few pages in here so far. I've been a bit slack. Wedding planning has taken over my life, our lives. Make sure everything's in focus because I would hate for me to film all this and have to do it all over again. So. Wedding planning, a wedding is in two months and it is engulfing the days. So this is, you've seen a few of these done on camera. Um, so just my usual bits and pieces with tip-ins and um, plastic pockets and stuff. And this is probably, you haven't seen these. I was trying something different, trying to do like a little... Um, snapshot of each day for a week like little highlights of the day and I'll probably go back to that because I did enjoy it um, it was something different and these even these stickers dodgy stickers so just writing and I, I am trying to in one of the other booklets do a bullet journal um, I am trialing that so I did watch a YouTube video and took notes and things on that um, this is my the start of my Melbourne trip. I went to Melbourne um, about a fortnight ago to have a giant Melbourne planner meetup and to also have a girly weekend with my bestie. We went and did some MAC makeup courses and went and saw Wicked and a whole lot of adventurous things. So I have a stack of journaling to catch up on for that because I have taken lots of photos and I didn't want to um, not journal it. Even though I didn't journal while I was there because it was literally go, 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 go. We didn't get much time to sort of sit and journal. We had planned to journal, but tiredness won. So that's where I'm at. And I will probably film a sped up video of that, of finishing off those pages, um, because that would take quite a while. There's probably about six pages worth of photos to get in there. So that's all that's in this one. It's still quite new. I do have a wish list on the back and here is my MAC eyeshadow palette. It's all the colors so that I don't forget what colors are, I put what colors where. So I took that with me to the MAC makeup course and showed the girl because I wanted her to do my wedding look for me um, using the stuff I already had. So she had to know what uh, she was working with, which I was surprised. I thought she'd know them off by heart, but maybe some are so similar you can't tell. 
Then you have the other side of my um, Ziploc. In here I just have some photos and um, little drawings. Lily drew me a deer because everyone knows that I am the crazy deer lady. And um, this came with my whipping post tote bag. It's like a patch. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this yet so I just sort of stick it in there. Um, show bag. And I think this is another drawing from Lily which is on the other side. Lily likes to draw me things and I just keep them. So I fold them out, fold them up. Oh yeah, there's a little girl on this one too. These are my little little artist in training. Lily likes to hand me um, pictures that she's drawn, so I keep some of them in my journal on display. Now that won't fold up because I'm on camera and nothing goes right. Now this is the craft folder that I have been slowly decorating um, because it's ugly. It's craft folder for God's sake. So I've been putting washi tape and like stickers and drawings and stuff. So um, in here I have a, um, a letter I think or a card. Yep. And I have some more stickers and love hearts. I have a picture of my mum and dad which is one of my favourite pictures. Um, little bits and pieces. I have a letter that I, I read quite often and um, just bits and pieces. Nothing really life-changing. It's a journal. You don't have many life-changing things in your journal. Now this is a new addition that you guys have not seen. It is called Draw My Week. I put this in. It is a grid book and um, if you're on some of the groups you may have seen what I've been doing in this. Um, I have loved the Hobonichi style drawing of your day and I did buy a donkey cover but I refused to buy the in the, the journal itself until 2015 um, because we're literally halfway through the year and I don't want to waste all that paper so I thought if I can draw my draw my days and get through it without um, slacking for lack of a better word, then I would buy myself the journal to go with the cover for Christmas from my kids. Like I spoke to my kids about it and they were happy to do that as my Christmas present. So um, I decided to set up a grid notebook and start drawing my week. So um, I drew that on the, the front cover and then um, just playing. I was showing some girls the Distress stains at the meetup and the peerless watercolors, which you can see sort of poking out here. Um, so these are some of the pages um, that I have been doing. Just little snippets of my day, um, things that arrived in the mail, strawberries that I eat, um, looking at wedding favors. It was my girlfriend's birthday. We play, oh, the World Cup was on and I have never, Ever paid any interest to the World Cup but now that I am going to marry a man that is quite in love with the World Cup I uh, this was my first World Cup experience so getting up at the crack of dawn to watch people kick a ball around was interesting but um, I watched the um, I don't even know which one it was Germany 171 so drawing in my Midori went to the duck pond had some lunch and I was extremely tired so this was the day that I got my beauty table. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, um, you'll see that I have become a little bit interest in, interested in makeup. I spent quite a while not wearing makeup for a good 10 years and then bam, buy all the things. So um, my darling man bought me this beautiful um, white table that I have set up in our room, our tiny little room. So... Um, I might do a video tour on that, maybe, but makeup hasn't really entered this channel and it's all about journals and paper and stationery and art, so I'm not sure if that's something that people would enjoy or whether I will set up a different channel for that because people follow me for my paper obsessions, basically. I spoke to my mum on Skype. My morning routine is normally Cheerios or um, bacon and eggs and YouTube and tea. There's lots of tea in this. Yep, tea up there as well because I am a tea addict and every day there is tea. Got some delivery, some makeup things. I was extremely 
sick, I think I had a cold and it was freezing so there was hot water bottle I took the kids to the shops on the bus and they had uh, a burger um, we went to ikea to get a chair for my beautiful table and that was an epic epic drive because the finally found a chair that i wanted at the ikea chair's gone sold out so john says to me it's okay we'll go to the other one and that took us two and a half hours due to traffic so that man must love me uh, more tea. We went on a candle buying um, experience because we wanted more candles in our house. Um, my chair is pink, so we did finally get that, and that is a really bad rendition of my man. The next day, I am convinced IKEA gave me food poisoning um, because I was so sick for three days straight with the vomits. And I have not been so sick in a long, long time. And I did do some drawing. I don't know how I accomplished this because I was like literally a dead woman walking so my best friends for the day were the toilet and the tooth and the toilet paper and brushing my teeth constantly a little Japanese anime of like exorcist style vomit um, yep yeah, next day I was exhausted from being sick um, John got me my favorite suki la la soup I call it it's like a um, Thai vegetable and chicken soup uh, it is the best and the People down the road make it, so he went and got it for me because it was like the only thing I, I wanted and I hadn't eaten in like two days. So, doctor's appointment, sat there waiting for an hour and a half, to be told, write it out, which I wasn't impressed with. I was feeling better, so I started cleaning everything because the, the house went to rack and ruin when mummy uh, doesn't do her normal jobs, basically. Sitting on hold. The alarm waking us up, my Mia Cara, my A5, which if you are a Filofax lover or a planner lover, there will be an A5 video coming. I have been asked so many times for an updated video of my big girl Mia, so I will be doing that um, today. I will be filming a whole heap back to back, basically. Um, I did some washing, the kids had pizza for dinner. Um, I went out for lunch with the girls and I had um, fish and salad. Um, went on a date day with my man. This was before, just before I went away, I think. No, must have been bef just before. So we went to Daiso, we went to the movies. Um, I took Lily to the movies to see the Tinkerbell movie as a reward for something she had done. And I started ombreing my hair. Well, my hubby did because he's got dye skills, apparently. And we did some grocery shopping. Sunday is when we go to the markets and the butcher and all the other places to get all our food because we try and do it um, on a budget. So, But we eat lots of fresh food, so we have to go to the fruit markets and the butcher and all that sort of stuff instead of going just to the supermarket. Takes a lot more time, takes us half a day to do it all, but in the long run, we get more for our money. Um, makeup stuff. I was having a bad anxiety day. Um, if you read my blog or have been following me on some social media thing, you know that I do suffer, suffer with depression and have since I had my first son. I had postnatal depression and then it went into full-blown depression. Now, I don't treat my depression with meds anymore. I do it with exercise, art, and healthy food. But some days, it just gets on top of me and that was one of those days. The wedding was driving me mental. I had hiccups. I was stressed. I was just a big, big emotional mess. So that was the only drawing that happened on that day. Um, the next day I got our tax return. I went to the gym. I go to the gym five days a week, most of the time. And um, so I'm trying to be more healthy and fit and all that sort of stuff. My girlfriend Joanne surprised me with tickets to go see Wicked when I go to Melbourne as my delayed birthday present. So I was like stupidly excited over that. And more tea, because tea makes everything better. Um, we went veil shopping ooh, a little while ago and I have a little niece named Kate and Tia is the name for auntie in Spanish and so she was running around the um, craft shop screaming Tia when she couldn't find me and it was freaking adorable so um, this is our niece on John's side and she's so cute 
so I had to quickly draw her I got my my wedding invites got shipped that day I went and bought some tights this is my little water brush and I did some laybys for Christmas um, the next day I went and helped my soon-to-be mother-in-law do some scrapbooking for a gift my Bella box arrived um, I was dreaming of my Melbourne trip because it was coming up and I was like desperate just to get away because I hadn't been away on my own just as me since before I had Lily which was you know six years ago we got a new couch so hubby um, hired out a moving truck and we moved all our stuff and we had lunch at Maria's um, here I changed the watercolors to my peerless which I'll talk about soon so they are a little bit um, different in color they're much more vibrant we went up to the mountains we were having our wedding in the blue mountains and paid a big chunk off it um, we went to the shops we took the kids for um, no I made homemade hot dogs that day for the kids um, and then the next day I went and paid some money off some Christmas laybys I put toner in my hair to sort of wash out the yellow tones in the ombre um, my girlfriend took me to lunch then there was a, a week gap, then that is basically when I went to Melbourne. I had all intentions of drawing my Melbourne trip, but life got in the way and I had not a millisecond to even conjure enough energy to draw. It was full on from the time I left to the time I got home. So I, I had my journal with me every day in my bag, but it never, it never came out because there was just no time. Oh, it came out for people to fondle at the meetup basically. Um, and that's it. So I came home and started making slow cooker meals. Um, I made a chicken soup. I made a coconut curry. Um, I'd made the decision for the kids to start eating cleaner as well as us. So they've been taking um, clean lunches to school, no processed food, all that sort of stuff. I bought a blush for the wedding. And um, John and I went on a date day to the city. We bought a book on Hong Kong, which is where we're considering going for our honeymoon. Um, so this was our first sort of actual step towards the honeymoon, which was nice to finally have some sort of destination in mind as we've changed our mind quite a few times. It poured on us. We had soup and John bought a new lipstick for me. And that is it so far. So I will be doing occasional videos where I do draw my days on camera but it will be sped up as well um, because they just take so much time editing so I will probably film that today um, as well so there's that book there and oh this is my kids in the back of my journal playing with my watercolors and Elijah draw house now this is slipped into a one of those um, million pocket things that a pocket full of vintage Marianne does. Mine is dodgy. I thought I followed the instructions, but clearly I didn't, and it's all screwed up. But it still works good enough. So I've slipped that into that, that long back pocket I made um, with a file folder from Typo. Now this is a portable watercolor set. These are peerless watercolors. Um, I bought them from instituteofcute.com. I know that she's currently sold out at the moment because a lot of the girls were interested where I got these from. Now the pigment lays on top of the cards and you pick up the, um, let me, I'll show you. Let me get my water brush. So I have like a Pentel Aquash brush. So I will pick up some of the, the red there. And as you can see, it's like, they're like literally, they're watercolors. They were used to tint photos back in the day and now they are fantastic for portable watercoloring. And there's a like an overhead protector sheet here so that you can blend colors and they keep them separated. So I made a little travel one the size of my Midori to take to Melbourne for all the drawing I did in Melbourne. Yeah, good job. And it just slips in the back there. And so I've always got some form of, I take a watercolor palette with me anyway, but this was um, easier to take for space saving sake. So here is my pocket that I made really badly. So I've got like photos in here that I need to use, some tags, bits and pieces I've been collecting, nothing, and there's stickers that don't stick that make me rage. Um, in there I have, oh, see things don't stick. 
My glue is dodgy, everyone. I'll admit it. This is a little oh, teacup, bits and pieces. Just a little notebook I got sent as a rack, and I'm trying to work out what I want to use it for, but I carry it with me just in case one day I'll figure it out. And a little Tisha Moore collage thing in the back there. This is the book I made myself. It is my trial run bullet journal. As you can see, I haven't got much in here because I'm still sort of feeling my way and trying to get it to work. I have a little like key up the top. Um, so I am attempting badly, but I'm attempting to try and, um, try and do the bulleting system. So I, I got sent this beautiful grid paper by a girlfriend of mine called Nikki and I had it stashed for months and was like, I'm going to make myself a bullet journal. So I got out some, um, scrapbooking paper and just bound myself one and popped it in, um, into the journal so I will try more I will never film a video on bullet journaling do not ask me because I suck at it so um, I'll leave that one to the experts but I am attempting it my index is blank that's how awesome I am so there's that that's basically blank because it's brand new basically why is this not sitting nicely and this is the back of my um, two folders so there, they sit there and just line it all up. She is quite chunky, but 